See that big limb fall? Yep. Huh. Yeah, it's a little breezy. Yeah, this is nowhere to be in when it's windy out under these cottonwoods. They're not rooted really well. <laughs> and then there's a lot of the mountain beavers are up here too that, um, well, they make their extensive burrow systems underground and then they eat the bark off the roots of the cottonwoods, which weakens them and makes them, you know, even even more dangerous to be around in the wind. So this is the spot, huh? So this is Gregory and he has been uh, up here a couple of times now. He's uh, the creator of these wonderful flutes and uh, the one that uh, I have he made. And he had his first visit up here a couple of weeks ago. He came up by himself and played some music and, and had himself an experience. And he's going to tell us about what happened. But right now, he's gone over here. He had left a flute in the woods for the Bigfoots. And he's looking to see if it's still there. Okay, so the flute was still there. And uh, it wasn't where you left it, though? No, it was moved about two feet. Really? That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. So you put good. it in one spot and Yeah, that I put was... it like here uh, behind a log and it was over here about a foot and a half. Huh. So it was either found and maybe played, looked at at least, yeah. and then put back. Well, in... that's what it was here for. I figured yeah. what the heck. Just so. let him give them their own try. Wow. Yeah, it's a little breezy up there. Yeah, so uh, that was your first trip up here. Why don't you tell us about what happened? Well, I walked all the way up the trail, and as I was walking in from the beginning of the trail, I saw a couple of sticks in their X form, and I didn't take a picture of it, but I noted it, and I watched the trail pretty much all the way up here, and I walked all the way to the end of to the, to the road up here, the gravel road, which is another uh, third of the way up there, and I thought, well, I'll go back and sit on the log, so I, I had seen this log sitting here. So I came down and I sat on the log and faced this way. And I had my guitar with me and my two flutes with me. I didn't have any dogs with me. <laughs> but, uh, and I was facing this direction. And I grabbed the flute and I sat down and I started playing. It was about like five seconds in, you know, 10 seconds into it. And I hear this deep guttural you know, but only really deep. I couldn't, I can't hardly do it. I thought, just loud enough for me to hear it, you know? And I thought, well, that kind of scared me a little bit. I'm like, okay, you know. Now, now, which direction did that come from? Yeah, it was right behind me, right up on that knoll right there. Okay. So, as you can see, there's a little hill up there. Yeah. And a group of trees up there. So, I said hi, and then I had to call myself and tell myself, okay, well, that's why you're here for. And, so I played on for about another five seconds and another <clears throat> a really deep grunt, you know. Like, okay. From the same place? The exact same place. So I thought, okay, I know you're here, and I talked to him for a second. <laughs> and I went back to playing the flute again. And about, oh, I don't know, five, ten seconds later, <clears throat> another third grunt. I said, like, I heard you. I know you're there. And by that time, I'm good with it because <laughs> I figured what the heck I'm here for that anyway and uh, so you weren't too freaked out by no, it no after the first one that's the only one that got me a little bit and then I know okay well that's why I'm here and it's, it's that, known as the greeting grunt so. well they greeted that's, me three times that's their way of saying hello <laughs> so um, I sat here and I played you know, this went on for like an hour and a half or, I uh, sat here and played flute for a while every time I'd stop I'd hear a tap 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 up there on a tree. If every time I'd stop again, tap, 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 you know, and that went on for the whole time I played the flute. And then I stopped playing flute and I grabbed the guitar and I played the guitar and every time I'd stop playing the guitar, I'd get... And finally I got brave enough. I said, well, okay, I'm gonna turn around. So I went ahead and I turned around on the log and I played some more flute. And again, through this whole process, this whole two and a half hours, there was every time I'd stop. And uh, 
At one point, uh, I decided you know, I had my walking stick with me that I had for a while out of the woods, and I was turned around and I started doing little weird taps, like I'd go tap tap tap, and it'd go tap tap tap. Then I go tap tap tap, and it'd go tap tap tap, and I go tap 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 tap, and it go tap 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 tap. This went on for about 15 minutes, and I said, "Well, he's probably getting bored of this." <laughs> but it kept happening, so. Um, I played the guitar some more, I played some more flute, about then uh, two ladies walk up here, and it was like a mother-daughter and a little puppy dog, uh, like an Australian Shepherd, it was only about that big with beautiful blue, light blue eyes, and they stopped by and said the flute sounded great and, uh, and all that, and I wasn't hearing anything going on behind me at all while they're here, and then they walked on up the trail, and about 15 minutes later they walked back down the trail. And in that whole period of time, that you know, 10, 15 minutes, um, there was no sound at all from anything out there behind me. So then, once they got down there and around the corner a little bit, or out of, out of your sight, tap, tap, tap again. So I went back to playing the flute, tap, 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 every time I stopped. And that went on for about two and a half hours, and I was amazed. And I finally. I was getting tired and I was hungry, so in two and a half hours out here, so I decided to head back. So I walked back down the trail, which I had looked on the ground the whole time all the way up, looking for any kind of um, sign of any kind, any sticks or whatever. And um, Along the trail, there was this bigger set of sticks, a big X, that it wasn't there earlier in wow. the day, so it was kind of like, goodbye. <laughs> That, that so, happens to us quite a bit where we always watch what's on the trail coming up and then we'll see something entirely different going back, something that's been placed there. And there's even been a few occasions when I went back to the cabin to get the camera to come out and take a picture and then I come back out and it's just completely it's gone. Again, or, or gone. <laughs> just totally yeah. removed, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was my first time here and that, and that was, uh, I think it was a Tuesday, was it? No, that was a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. yeah, Sunday. Then I came back out the following Tuesday and I was only out, it was after work, and I came out here directly. And I was here for an hour and a half, and I did basically the same things. Now, I didn't get any grunts, welcoming grunts anymore, but I was still getting the... That tap, tap, the tap. Tap, 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 and the repeated, whenever I did something different, repeated back. So I was there for about an hour, hour and a half, and uh, I left the flute. Back here behind the tree, about 15 feet in there, you'll see a tree laying down there. And I left it here, and when I went back to get it, it's been moved to here. Wow. And so I was going to ask you if you had heard anybody playing the flute while I was gone. No, I didn't, but you know, I was gone for uh, uh, a week down to southern Oregon too, so I didn't have much time to be out here. Yeah, so yeah. it's interesting that it did move. So. Wow, that's cool. Right on. It was in the same area, but moved the foot this way. Yeah, no teeth marks on it. It wasn't dragged by a small creature. Or no, no, it, teeth, no teeth marks. I don't no think bugs. the wind blew it a few feet. No. So it was actually handled, picked up, maybe played, at least inspected, yeah. and then put back in almost the same location. And I didn't note the direction. I, if I had to put it this way or if I had to put it that way, I should have noted that before I left. I was taking a photograph of it. Yeah. So. Well, it's always good to have a picture of what you leave just so that you know if there are any obvious differences when you come back. Yeah, so I'll put it back and we'll see if it moves again. Right on. Cool. Okay. 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 Well, thank you for sharing with us. No problem. And, you no know, problem. you're you're always welcome to come up here and uh, pretty sure you're one of those people that's supposed to use the trail. Mm -hmm. Or one of those people that they want to get a hold of. Yeah. Or talk or, or be with. Yeah, and, they're comfortable uh, with your presence. And I think it, it's kind of... kind of. I think possibly it may be in this case um, they were comfortable with just one person. They weren't necessarily yeah. thinking three, a couple more were yeah. going to show up. That so. could be, yeah, it could be those ladies were, you know, they don't sound familiar to me. They could be vacationers that, yeah. you know, they're not familiar with. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's some kind of rhyme and reason to this, yeah. whether we understand what it is or not, you know. They, they know what they're doing and they know who's participating with this and who they want to react with. and. I think yeah, they have a plan of some kind of their own. Some way. kind, yeah. yeah. Maybe one of these days will tell us what it is. <laughs> I think they're letting us know little by little. Yeah. I think uh, 
Yeah, there's going to be a, there's got to be a change. So, yeah, something, uh, something you know, cool. The way that we're acting. So, yeah. So. Well, you know, we have shifted the way we do things, you know, just in an effort to create more interaction and get closer to them. And, you know, if you stand back and you look at some of the changes that we've made in what we do, it's really a lot healthier way of, of doing things, you know, and, and uh, you kind of got to drop some of the old school stuff like yeah. being on trees and yeah. grunting constantly and, yeah. and trying yeah. to fool them. Trail cams. and Let them come to you and yeah. be a part of your life. Be respectful. Yeah. yeah. Comes back around. Yeah. Did you just hear that little knock back here behind us? Might have been the breeze. Could because there's so much breeze going on. Yeah, but could I'll have play been the, the for a little while. We'll see what happens. All right, cool. I'll trade you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see if we get anything. I don't know. <laughs> you never know because, like I said, it's all in their timing. It's not in our timing. Yeah. It's not in what we want. They have it's total control. This is their house. That's you know, right. So that's the way I see it. So we'll see what happens. No, I don't play flute. I've just been doing it for about four months, so. <laughs> Bear with me. Nice. Well, I like the sound of it anyway, but yeah, I'd, I wanted to go up there, you know, but then again, I don't want to push myself on something, you know, or anybody to so, uh, you know, see if there's a prince or anything like that. So, you well, know, I was satisfied with just what I got. I was so um, blessed, I guess you would say. Yeah. You know, um, well, that's how it's I always like feel. It's not like it happens every day. You know? No, it doesn't. It doesn't happen. And it makes those occasions when it does happen really special. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I came up here uh, yesterday afternoon just to walk the dogs. And uh, when I came through, all the elk were out in here. And they were a little spooked. They all went up the hill here. And it, it was quite exciting watching them jumping up that hillside. Uh, too bad I didn't have the camera with me, but... So you know, anymore? I, up the hill? Oh yeah, they they were all running up there, so I would imagine it's pretty tore up up there right now. Oh, yeah. huh. Jack, Jackie boy, there's the little man. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Bye, guys. Holy cow. We gotta leave. Yeah. <laughs> Big <you> stuff falling. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Holy cow, huh? It's okay, Jack. It's okay. Yeah, this is not a place to be when it's freezing. No. Oh, uh -uh. What's really weird about it, my, my thing, no, I could have thought, well, Oh, it's the wind moving the trees, you know. But we'd have, out here when I was here the first day, we'd have those very light breezes and then it quit. Yeah. And I was getting, I just heard a minute, to the left. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Um, we have a very light breeze and then it quit, like I said. And, and I'd get the knocks in both when it's breezy and when it's not. So it's not like there was tree yeah. See like now, that. I've heard that before. Like even with the uh, that it's recorder sound, um, there would be a little breeze, and it would always happen in between. You know, when it when it would let up and it become still. That's when you'd hear things. That's when the knocks happen. 
You're gonna yeah. hear more when there's less noise. Yeah. Uh, and of course, we gotta get out of here before we get food on. So. Yeah. No, uh, this is no place to be yeah. in the wind. They'll protect us from the, from the point. Yeah. That area specifically is really. Yeah, underneath those trees, not safe when the wind's blowing. No. Okay. One thing that struck me when I was out here was <laughs> that they had chosen an area that has a lot of, rather than firs, a lot of deciduous trees. All the cottonwoods. And then you think about it, it makes <coughs> sense. Summertime, let's see, okay, you got more coverage, you got more shade, it's cooler in there than you're, you know. Yeah. So. And you know, I think they use this trail as a way for the little ones to have a place where they can get close to humans and observe us and, you know, learn how we move and, and what we sound like, what we do, how we function. It's a really good place, you know, because there's not very many people ever use this trail. And most of the people who do use it are locals who have been here for years and years and years. So, you know, it's a good, safe place for them to come and learn about us. You know, they yeah. don't have to worry about somebody starting to shoot or, you know, uh, uh, anything... Anything that could be hazardous for them. Right off, right off the trail. I mean, oh, yeah. immediately you're into yeah. stuff for the most part where you can... Yeah, boom, they're gone. Yeah. You know, when the leaves are down, <laughs> it opens up and they can't get quite it's as close. But no. Yeah. yeah. It's either a piece of wood or he found himself some more poop. poop. He's a big poop eater. Oh. Come on, Jack. Yeah, we don't oh, need God. that. Thank you. <laughs> Busy dog. Yeah, happy dogs. Yeah, that's a good thing. Isn't he getting big? Yeah.